Where is Yennefer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. What happened to your hand? I sacrificed it to the gods. Forgive him, Jarl. Geralt's got more to learn about our customs. We're close to the gods in Skellige. And the chummier you are, the greater the offering you make. It's our belief that the greatest thing a man can offer is his pain, his suffering, the pure sacrifice. To hear the gods is a gift, not a sacrifice. These voices you hear. The gods, their voices. More likely this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher, Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods, they'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you, and they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? 
My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. You failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods ever show you their form, or are they always just a shadow? Once, I steeled myself, gathered my courage, and in my dream made my torch burn bright. I saw a hazy figure sitting in shadow then. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udalric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udalric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... What a traitor. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udalric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, we can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Both methods seem risky, but I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's way. Hmm. Trying the trick can't hurt. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay.
solid craftsmanship. Fitter must have been from the continent. Siri. No, it's impossible. Damn it. Looking to discourage me? Good. Means you're scared. Come up with anything? Yes, I have a plan. One that just might work. Can I get any details? You've got to wait for me here. I won't be long. Uh, anything else? Said yourself, you can't know the details. So no, nothing else. You simply got to trust me. Hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So, can we start? I'm ready. All right, I'll be back soon. In the meantime, get a fire going in the oven. Over there! She's running to the old house! Grab her! You must put him in the oven. Trust me. Take care not to hurt the child. Give me the babe. In the oven. Throw him in the oven. The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. It's over. Over? We tricked the Heim. It thought I'd killed your child, abandoned you to haunt me, feed on my conscience. But when it saw the babe was whole, unharmed, it had to go. You're free, Jarl. Free? The Heim's gone. So are the voices that tortured you. Let's get out of here. What's happening? My head's spinning. I'm spinning in a maelstrom. Geralt, you said it was over. That's just fatigue. In time, his mind will return to normal. What? What will I do now? You'll be fine. Key is to not give in to self-pity. I feel as if someone's torn something from me. That's normal. The Heim was a parasite. Bonds between parasites and hosts can be strong. That's why you feel empty now. Give it a few days, weeks, you'll be fine. Thank you. I think... 
Farewell. I'll go with him. He seems confused. Good idea. Then what? What are your plans? I'll stay a few days, make sure he's healthy. And you? Gonna stay on speaker, Rog? Don't know yet. Gotta gather my thoughts. I'm sure Yennefer must be grown impatient. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Though I will admit you're not all bad. You trusted me, a complete stranger nearly. Few would have had the courage. Appreciate it if you didn't tell everybody in the aisles. They'll think I enjoy being dominated. <laughs> Farewell, Geralt. See you, Ceres. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tower. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? It is tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Crack awaits. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, drink no? Last night Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. I've as much right to it as you do! And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it... Should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it? Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. Don't your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilcards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Ceres! Hey! God damn it! Don't see Krach. He talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilcarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. We show our foes, we show our eyes. Waited in amber. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking? This is no feast. It's a farmer's market, where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. May I? You must even come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here, family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. 
Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak! Hold on, son. You'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos, and now you threaten my son. I will not stand for this. Dad, come here! Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog! Calm down, calm down! Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives, but we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on Crate, find and kill them, else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Sure gotten messy. That's putting it mildly. We've clues to examine, things to consider. We must find out how this came to be, elsewise we... We've no time for that. I know where to find the guilty. Wait? Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Jarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. Pretty sure you can handle this fine without me. Aye, we will. So long, Nils.
your majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I'd begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian Shieldbearers or Lyrian Archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morhen is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition, General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. You did, but you paid the old price. The risks are greater now, and so should the rewards be. A coin. But you've got something else, dear. Give us a necklace and get out of here! Hands off or I'll cut them off. Geralt, you don't need to. I wanna. Grab your things and let's go. Get out! Now! When I need your help, I'll ask for it. What? Are you angry? Ugh, angry? No. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. They took a risk, sure. ...to the Hunters, but they didn't, which was extremely honorable by Novigrad standards. Please don't make excuses for them. Geralt, we could debate morals or any number of other topics, but I don't have time for that now. You saw what's happening in the city. Actually, this is the perfect time for a moral debate. We can start by setting some limits on self-sacrifice. High time you forgot about your fellow mages. Saved yourself instead. Would you abandon Vesemir? Eskel? Lambert? Leave them behind just to save your own skin? I understand you're worried about me. But I can't just pack up and leave them all. I know what awaits those who fall into the Hunter's hands. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Berthold and Anise? Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratuza. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can- It'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? <laughs> Help two and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? We should help Anise and Berthold. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Fine. But then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. 
lead the way. That's enough of that. Where's this hideout? Not far. In the bits. Now, quiet, Geralt. We'd rather not draw any attention to ourselves. You were right. We're Paler's death. Gotta go to Miracles. Under Witching. Land on two pyres. Now we'll have four. No. No. Bertold. I'm so sorry, but we have to go. Without him, I've no reason to. Geralt, help me. You have to come with us. Yes. I must. Thanks. We need to join the others, soon as possible. Stop. Hear it? There! Two more! Grab them! Have you checked the sewers beneath the Kingfisher? No. Didn't think we'd have to take that route. To think a year ago, guardsmen bowed to mages they passed in the street. Now we have to flee the city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. Guardsmen are hunters in sight. Everything seems in order. Or we're too late. Damn it! They're here already. Ah! No, you fuck! Ah! Ah! Too long. Too long? We set out to rescue two people. Yes. And lost one. Good thing we got here before. More. Come with me. This way, Geralt. <laughs> Triss, what happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No, everything's not all right. Gerald, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. By the tears, my dear lady. You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born ugly. Are you fleeing to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set off. You know me. Bleeding hard. 
Yeah, I know you. You don't have a heart, bleeding or otherwise. Frankly, I'm surprised at your insight into my anatomy. But on a more serious note, I look forward to having friends in Kavir, especially among King Tankra's entourage. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us? Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship? Till we could find a captain we could trust? We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness. Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the port through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake. Begging for mercy. Gonna enter the sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail, and don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and lead the way. I swear, I'll drop magic for good. If I can only bloody get out alive. You can't, you won't. You've got Radovid and the church against you. They want magic. Good luck. Thanks for helping. No need to thank me, really. No, there is. You don't know how much it means. To have someone you can rely on in this fucking city. We should hurry. Stop! Hear that? What is it? Rats. Oh, my speciality, remember? You've got nothing to fear. Depends how many there are. Damn it! That's a lot! have tended to disappear without a trace. Everything all right? A few bites on my feet and calves. Nothing really. Need to clean your wounds. Infection will set in otherwise. Later, Geralt. Let's find a way to the port first.
one still lit. Died recently, from bites to the neck. source of income. Come on, let's go. Finally. You bloody too long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. Wood's rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. And the... Will we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. Especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! Hold the ship! We want them alive! I don't know how to... No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. I'll remember you too. Always with a smile. Miss Marigold! Coming! Take care. And give Siri a kiss from me once you find her. You're an ass. What? An ass. An oaf. A twit. Didn't even try to stop her. I'll ask again. Got interrupted last time. Why the hell do you care who I'm with? Want what's best for you. Would you believe me? No. Wise. You should stay out of politics. I know it, you know it, and Triss knows it which is not insignificant. Your other lover, not so much. She's cuddled up to Nilfgaard, and you'll follow her as always. And one day, we might find ourselves on opposite sides of the barricade. It'd be a damn shame. But that seems a distant future to me. Right now, we should talk about the more immediate. Sure this is the right time, Siggy. Triss and I just... Spare me, Geralt. Which is a strip of feeling, not one emotion in that body of yours. And I have an urgent matter to discuss. Mm-hmm. And that is? What would you say? How many mages did we save, altogether? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe, give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the North? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us, we were here. But who'll save those in Rimba, Banard, Ard Kareg, Gullet? You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one, Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go, now get to the point. 
Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovi. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father, was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania, made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? It's armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization, inciting peasants to take up their scythes, straighten them. Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that through years of fucking hard work. I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Oh. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody Necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passiflora, in the garret. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt. Respect. Mm -hmm. hey. You're a ye dimwit. Drop one more and I'll keelhaul you. Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were the hunters some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. Didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Key? Ramond? Where's the key? All I have. Why so silent? Ramond, you thief, you rogue, you whoreson, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick!